Hey everyone, uh, Jonathan from Rain Brothers here, and I'm gonna show you uh, the, the common concrete cistern layout. Uh, we just got done doing all the rough ends for the, the plumbing to the cistern. We got done setting the tank. Uh, everything still opened up, so I thought it'd be a great opportunity to show you just exactly what's involved with the cistern installation. So this is the 5,500 gallon concrete cistern right here. Uh, pit's pretty deep goes all the way down to about 10 feet uh, but we'll start with the downspouts uh, so uh, you have your downspouts a typical household downspout emptying into uh, the downspout drains which in this case is uh, schedule 40 it's an NSF uh, certified uh, potable grade pipe uh, this is 4 inch schedule 40 that runs the, the trench runs down uh, as you can see we're in the process still of backfilling it uh, with with stone you want to surround and cushion that pipe as much as possible uh, to ensure that it's stable there's no uh, cavities that the pipe can bend and and mess up your grade or, or crack the pipe um, so we're, we're uh, we'll be filling this pipe in the trench in with 57 limestone uh, here's the second downspout that's tied into it they meet here and go into a uh, first flush filter and uh, roof washer this this box you can see has the uh, debris screen right here this filters out the large debris leaves and such and then it goes into this um, mesh filter here 150 micron mesh filter and then ultimately it will go into the inlet there you can see it's stubbed out right here uh, ready to go ready for connection then you have uh, the water line that's a little further down, this blue pipe right here. That goes down below frost line, runs with the, with the uh, submersible pump wire. Uh, that's a direct berry wire. You can see that red, black, and green wire st strung along with it. Uh, and that goes back into the penetration, uh, uh, cut through your foundation into your house to supply your water. This particular tank will have a submersible pump in the tank that will feed into that from the tank into that blue line and go into the house to supply the household pressure. On the other side of the tank, we have the overflow, and this overflow will take the water uh, out to daylight. Uh, that day, we call it daylight when it the pipe goes out into daylight. Uh, and protrudes from a low spot in the grade. So we have the pipe running down the trench and out the side. We, we You can see we installed this uh, backwater valve. This is a check valve that prevents prevents water from, uh, if, you're, if, you're, if you're daylighting your pipe in a low area where there's potential for flooding, you may want to put this backwater valve in. This backwater valve is a check valve and it prevents water from going back uh, into the tank, uh, prevents flood water from going back into the tank. So it has a stopper right here that prevents that from happening. So the water continues to flow out and goes to the end of the pipe. And at the very end, we have a rodent screen uh, and a mosquito screen to prevent any, any rodent uh, from burrowing into the pipe and going back down into the cistern. And what we usually like to do is put some gravel at the end of that daylight, where the pipe daylights, uh, just to notify people, hey, uh, there's something here, uh, you may want to watch for it, you're going, uh, things like that. So we'll clean that up a little when everything's set and done, we get everything backfilled and it'll look real nice. Thank you for watching, and hope this was helpful.